Okay, guys, we've got some beautiful music to bring us into the last ending on Sam's route before we're done. Fortunately, unfortunately, did I say fortunately? I didn't mean to. Unfortunately, it's a bad ending. Um, I picked all the same options I did for the last bad ending video that I did. But with the exception of this time when he's going to go into the cave, I let him do it. And so I guess my second premonition dream is going to come true this time. That's probably going to be sadder than the last ending. There we go. Let him do it. I had to trust him. He could do this. He can't do this. I watched as Sam walked into the cave, following behind until he vanished into the darkness. I stood once again between the light and the dark, waiting. Waiting. My nightmare, however, soon became realized. You are not... Worthy. So it's all my fault for not making Sam worthy. Sorry, Sam. I hecked up. All of a sudden, the darkness became full of fire, and the bare outline of Sam flashed before burning away in the light of the flames. Sam's voice couldn't even let out a scream of pain as he was instantly burnt to ash. Sam! Run! Run! Why is Diana here? Diana's voice echoed through the air, but I was frozen in place, watching the flames rush at me to take me as well. I let them consume me, not wanting to forever live with the memory of Sam dying before my eyes. You are not worthy. It was over so quickly. Done. Dun dun dun! Oy. It got me. Okay, not as sad as the other bad ending. But still, like... I guess it was, like, quicker, more instantaneous. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that is it for Mr. Sam I Am. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, now we're going back to Date Warp, and I have a very interesting character to get to know there. Mr. Albin, the brother or the sister who needs help. It'll be interesting to see what Albin ends up choosing in the end of that story, but we'll wait till we get to that. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.